In this concept video, we try to learn how do we find the total number of terms in the expansion of a given multinomial. The method of finding number of terms totally depends upon the type of multinomial. There are mainly two different types. First one is mutually exclusive terms. Second one is mutually inclusive terms. Mutually exclusive means there is nothing common in the terms. For example, if we have a multinomial called x plus y plus z raised to power 30. This is a mutually exclusive term because the SCF of any two terms is independent of the unknown. So this is the mutually exclusive terms. What do you mean by mutually inclusive terms? Means there should be something common like 1 plus x plus x square raised to power 30. Here these two terms are exclusive because the HCF of these two terms is x which is unknown. We solve exclusive in a different way and inclusive in the different way. First we will check how do we solve mutually exclusive terms. For the mutually exclusive terms multinomial we just distribute our power. If we have a multinomial 1 plus x plus y raised to power 30 and we have to check total number of terms in this multinomial and we have to distribute power 30 in three different groups the direct formula for this is n plus r minus 1 c r minus 1 where n is the total power r is the number of terms so for this it is nothing but 30 plus 3 minus 1 c 3 minus 1 which is 32 c 2 now check how do we get this value n plus r minus 1 c r minus 1 the power 30 is nothing but the combination of ones so we have say total 30 ones and a term is defined by the divisions if we have three terms means we have two divisions the plus sign is nothing but the divisions so we have 30 ones because the power is 30 and the divisions are plus plus two divisions and we have to arrange these 30 and two divisions is nothing but the distribution of power so total is how much 32 factorial because there are 32 terms upon 30 factorial for the 30 similar ones into 2 factorial because there are 2 similar plus sign and this is nothing but 32 C2 so whenever you have mutually exclusive terms just divide the power this is the concept behind the power and this is the direct formula n plus r minus 1 c r minus 1 for example the total number of terms in the expansion of a plus b plus c plus d raised to power 40 is nothing but that is 40 and 3 signs is nothing but 43 c3 or n plus r minus 1 c r minus 1 hope this is clear for mutually exclusive terms in the first type of multinomial that was exclusive terms we distribute the powers if we have inclusive terms means something common then we just work in a bundles for example if we have 1 plus x plus x square raised to power 10 total number of terms here it's x and x square the common is x so we cannot just distribute the power because groups are not different so what we say just count the power this is the constant term so the power of x is x0 here the x1 here x square we can say the power are nothing but 0 1 2 and we have 10 bundles of 0 1 2 and we know a m into a n is nothing but a m plus n and these are the powers and in between bundles we have multiplication sign so the lowest power is the summation of the lowest term and total 10 zeros or the 10 bundles so the lowest sum is 0 and the maximum sum is the summation of maximum power we have the maximum power of 2 in the bundle of 10 so the maximum summation is 20 
So we have total 0 to 20 powers and from 0 to 20 we have 21 terms. So the maximum number of terms in the 1 plus x plus x square raised to power 10 is 21. The direct formula for this maximum number of terms is 2 into 10 plus 1. Here 2 is the maximum power in the bracket and 10 is the power. That is 2 into 10 plus 1 which is nothing but 21. This is the maximum number of terms possible. But we have to check can we make all the numbers or the, all the powers from 0 to 20. For this we just need to count in the starting bracket and the last bracket. We have 0, 1, 2. The power starts from 0 to 2. Do we have all the values between 0 to 2? We have 0, we have 1, we have 2. Yes, we have all the values from 0 to 2. So there is no missing terms in the first bracket of 0 to 2. We just need to count the same thing in the last bracket. Remove the last bracket. We have 9 bracket because we have just removed the last bracket. Total we have the 10 brackets. So the 9 bracket left the total summation for the 9 bracket is 2 into 9 is 18 with the help of power 2. We have 18 and the bundle left is 0, 1, 2. So we can make 18 plus 0 is 18. Y plus due to this formula 18 plus 1 is 19. 18 plus 2 is 20. Means we are able to make each and every terms from 18 to 20 in the last bracket. All terms in the first bracket 0, 1, 2. So there is no missing terms. So total terms is nothing but 21. And this is our final answer for this multinomial. Check one thing. If we have all the powers 0, 1, 2, there is no missing terms. Then there is no need to check all these things. Just answer is 2 into 10 plus 1. For this question, total number of terms in the expansion of 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube raised to power 5. There is no missing terms in this multinomial. So the total number of terms is the 3 into 5 15 plus extra 1 for the x 0 is 16. So there are 16 terms in this multinomial. So this is the first type of continuous term. This is the second type of this continuous term. The third type is x square plus x cube plus x4. Power is in the continuous order, but it's not starting from the 1. So we just need to take x square common. If we take x square common from this bracket, we'll have x raised to power 40, x square and 20, and left one is the 1 plus x plus x square raised to power 20. And again, it's a continuous bracket starting from 1. The power is 2 and this power is 20. So the total one is 40 plus 1 is 41 terms. If we have continuous power of x, we just need to make the first power or the least power should be x0. By taking common and work upon the maximum value, here the maximum value within the bracket is 3. Total is 5. So 3 into 5 plus 1 is total is 16. This is only applicable when we have all the powers in the order. There is no missing terms. If there is missing terms, we have to check by doing all these values. Let's solve question of the missing terms. In the second inclusive terms where the powers are missing, we just need to count which powers are missing. Here, the total terms should be 5 into 3, that is 65 plus 1 is 66. But since few x are missing in this term, so there should be few missing terms from the total 66 terms. We have to check which terms are missing. First, we work on the brackets. Here the powers are 0, 3, 5 and there are such 13 brackets. So total we reach up to 65. In the first bracket, we have to work upon 0 to 5, 6 to 10, 11 to 15. We have to check which powers are missing. We cannot make 1 with the help of 0, 3 and 5, we cannot make 2, but we can make 3. Can we make 4? No, we cannot make 4 with the help of 0, 3, 5. We can make 5. So these are the missing terms 1, 2, 4. We can make 6 with the help of 2, 3s. Can we make 7? No. Can we make 8? Yes, we have 5 and 3, so we can make 8. 
can we make nine yes with the three help can we make ten with the two fives yes we can make ten can we make eleven yes with the help of five and six five or three twos we can make eleven twelve yes with the help of four threes thirteen again yes with the help of eight and five fourteen again yes with the help of five and nine we can make all these terms in this bracket so there is no need to check further so one two four seven are few terms which are missing now we have to check from the last if we are checking 65 we do not count like this we just write the values we just write few values of power of 5 in the descending order that is 65 with the maximum power than 60 than 55 than 50 than 45 and 40 if we have 65 means we used all the bundles for the 60 the one bundle is left and we just check the middle power that is 3 here the two bundles are left so 3 3 and so on and if we took 40 that is 5 into 8 5 bundles are missing so we have 5 threes we add all these and get the values first one is 65 second one is 60 and 3 63 that is 50, 5 and 3 is the 58 and again 5 is 61 and we get all the values. Here are the values which we can make from these terms. Now we have to check which terms are missing. These are 3 bundles if we count from 65. We have 65 visible, we do not have 64. So 64 is missing. Do we have 63? Yes, we do have 63. 62? No, there is no 62. We counted 65 so 62 is missing 61 yes we have 61 so 61 is a possible value now check for the 60 we can make 60 what about the 59 we have 59 so we can make 59 what about 58 we have 58 so 58 is not missing what about the 57 we have 57 so we have 57 here what about the 56 we have 56 in this so 56 is a possible value 55 yes we can make 55 what about a 54 yes we can make 54 53 yes we have 53 52 yes we have 52 51 yes we have 51 means all values are possible in this bracket if we have all values possible in the bracket then there is no need to check further Total missing values are 1, 2, 4, 7, 62 and 64. So we can say we have 66 values possible and 4 and 2, 6 values are missing. So the total values for this is 66 minus 6. Means 60 possible terms. I hope it is clear. For any doubt, feel free to ping me either on Facebook or on this video thread. Thanks.